Hey guys, it's Daniela and today's April 29th and I've just got one more day of Vita after today. Uh, so this weekend I'm actually at my parents' house. Uh, I'm dog sitting for them because my brother's been hiking the Appalachian Trail uh, and they're going up to Virginia around Damascus to meet up with him. Uh, so I'm here with the two dogs and the cat. Let's go ahead, let's go meet them. So over here we've got the cat. There we go, down here there. She's just chilling. Her name's Cricket. I named her. Hey kitty. And then we've got two dogs. One dog's over here. This is Shirley. Hey, Shirley. She wants her belly rubbed. And then our other dog is over here. Hey, Laverne. Hey, baby. She likes to have her belly rubbed, too. All right, so yeah, the two dogs are Laverne and Shirley, named after the characters on the TV show. And I named the cat Cricket. So we actually adopted them back in 2005. We officially adopted them on Valentine's Day when I was in high school. Um, the PetSmart near my parents' house will sometimes let uh, local shelters uh, display usually cats that are up for adoption. And my sophomore year of high school one day, I don't, I don't even quite remember why we were at the PetSmart. I think sometimes we, uh, we just like to pop in and see the hamsters or something. But they had some cats on display, like a few different ones, including a mother cat and her three kittens. And the kittens were about eight months old at the time. Uh, and we thought they were kind of cute. And, um, you know, when I was younger, we had some dogs, uh, over, uh, not too many dogs. And then around fifth grade, we ended up getting hamsters. But we hadn't really had a pet in a little while about this point. And I never really seriously considered that my parents would say, yeah, let's talk about getting a cat. But... We ended up talking about getting a cat. So my parents put in an application um, at this place. The shelter's actually in the town where I currently live. It's called CARA, Carolina Animal Rescue and Adoption. So we put in an application for one of the cats, one of the, the kittens. And the funny thing is, uh, somebody else had already put in to adopt her, and it was one of our neighbors from down the street. Uh, they adopted her and renamed her Chloe. Uh, but we decided, you know, we, we were kind of interested in getting a cat, so we drove down to Kara uh, to kind of meet with, see the mother and see her two young cats. And um, so of the three kittens, one of them, the one that the neighbors adopted, was bla a black and white cat. And then our cat that we have now is a calico cat. And then the other one, her name's Shelly, uh, she was a gray tabby cat. Um, so yeah, I forget all their original names, because they named them after, so it was Shelly. Ah, uh, that's right. Merlot was, I believe, Chloe. Chianti was the mother. And then our cat's original name was Pistol. Uh, so we were hanging out with Shelly, and she bit my dad. So we decided, uh, we're, we're not going to adopt her. And then we were hanging out with um, Cricket, which is what I named the cat. Uh, and she was just playing with my necklace and just being really friendly. So we were like, yeah, we kind of like her. She's a pretty chill cat, not super rambunctious, but also is probably not going to bite us. So, yeah, this might be a good pick. And while we were there, they brought in this little carrier with two little dogs, these tiny little things that they had literally, they had just picked them up. And somebody had mentioned that they had seen them kind of roaming around the streets of the town for about a year. Um, my mom didn't quite believe them, but it's, it's a really small town. Like, I could honestly, if somebody was feeding them, I could believe it. Um... And at some point, like maybe even before we had seen the cats, you know, my brother probably would ask more like, hey, can we get a dog again? Or it had sometimes come up. But the thing is my, you know, my parents never didn't really want a big dog. Um, and then these two little things came in. And at that point, they were probably about two years old, maybe a year. Uh, but it's pretty clear that they weren't going to get much bigger than that. Um, they're, you know, they're mutts, they're mixed breeds. Um, and you can kind of tell they, they appear to be, they're definitely like part dachshund, some kind of terrier. My dog Laverne sometimes, sometimes even looks like she might be part poodle. We don't know. Uh, they thought that they might be sisters, but it's even possible that Laverne is Shirley's mother. We don't really know. Oh, but they were so tiny and so scared. Um, and Shirley, Shirley is tinier than Laverne, and she's just got the cutest little face, and you can just pick her up. And originally, my mom and dad, like, they only wanted to adopt one because, you know, a dog is a big responsibility. And originally we wanted to, my parents wanted to adopt Shirley, who they thought was named Laverne. 
And my brother was like, you can't, you can't split them up. They're sisters. And the shelter even said, you know, if somebody else wants to adopt both of them, we'll give them preference because we don't want to split them up. And we talked about it. My brother was like, you know, I'll help walk them. I'll help take care of them, which obviously was just a plea. Um, but my parents eventually decided, you know what, let's just go ahead. We'll adopt them both and the cat. Uh, so we did, and we brought them all home together. And I still remember at the beginning, like how tiny the dogs were and the cat was really small too. The cat uh, wasn't even a year old at that point. We figured she'd be about a year that summer. And then the dogs were maybe a year or two years old. And it's just amazing like seeing pictures of when we first got them and how tiny they looked versus, you know, how, how much bigger they've grown now. And it seemed like the, the dogs especially were scared of men because they would be a little bit more scared of my dad and my brother. And they're both pretty tall guys. Um, but then after getting used to us, um, Laverne, she's such a daddy's girl. Like she loves my dad, except for when there's thunderstorms and then she's the mama's girl and Shirley loves my mom and she always follows her around. And then Crick is pretty chill, super introverted. And she used to be more of a loner. Now she goes for more attention, especially from my mom and she'll meow a little bit more, but it's pretty neat seeing all their individual personalities. And if I were an animal, I'd either be like my cat or Laverne. She's the chill dog. Um, but yeah, they're just really neat and I, I adore them. And now, like there were definitely some times where um, when I was still in high school, Laverne was, is, has always been such a sweet dog and just loves on you. But surely, um, although she can be sweet, if obviously like sometimes I would try and like maybe pick her up and she didn't want to be and she'd growl at me. But sometimes it felt like she just didn't really like me that much or was more likely to growl at me. But then I went off to college and ever since like then when I would come back, because I don't live at home anymore, both of them get so excited to see me. And it's just the neatest thing where I come in the door and they get so excited like, oh my god, Daniela, you're home and they're just jumping up and down and they're licking your face. And it's just the greatest thing and I just love that about pets. They're not like, like people can be really loving too, but the way we communicate with each other, we have this formal language and it's kind of different the way we interact with each other than the way animals interact with us. And they're just like... They see you, they feel their feelings, they jump up in your face, and it's just really neat. So, I love my pets. I don't know if, um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get my own uh, dogs or cats at any time soon, but I would always love to have some pets. Honestly though, this might be weird to some people and cool to others. I've kind of wanted some pet rats ever since I was like in the sixth grade and we had some pet rats in science class. So. That's my Vita video for today, and tomorrow will be the last video. I'm super excited, and I'm really proud that I made it this far, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!